what's good everybody it's your girl cherry and welcome back to life of cherry vlog so today we are out we are in the street and it's me and Dwayne. he's looking at the um the statues behind him but it's me and Dwayne, and we are in harlem baby we are on 125th street okay and we are kid free babe i'm trying to get you with a clip we kid we kid free how you feel about being kid free <laughs> parents are two without no babies my mom is at home with the kids she gave us a break for us to get out and about and we came to 125th street to try to pick up a couple of items and Dwayne said he really really wants to go to applebee's so we're probably going to stop at applebee's as well anyways if you are new here hey boo hey my name is cherry be sure to give this video a big thumbs up be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time that I post a new video. All right, come on y'all, let's spend the day together. We still trying to find a sweater suit for baby boy or something, like something outside of a snow suit for him. So let's go in Carter's and see what we can find. Yeah, I hope you love you. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Hello. Once I start making my way back to the house, it'll be around. I think I'm the whole time. I think I'm the whole time. You look a big fella, right? A little bit. Oh, my little man in the wings. Have you noticed? Yeah. He's getting a little chunky. That's why that fanny pack was fitting like that, too. <laughs> Excuse me, little bit. Yeah, I feel like you got that dress. <laughs> they don't got her size, though. They got a 414. We just left um, Carter's. We didn't find much of anything, but I found some cute stuff for Myla. Tell me if it's just me or am I tripping? Now, like, little girls having crop tops with, like, the belly button showing is a thing. Like, I'm, I'm not with it. I am not with it. So, we end up not getting any shirts, even though there was a lot of shirts we saw that we liked. And then I realized, like, they were belly shirts. And I'm like, oh, nah. I have a 6-year-old, not a 16-year-old. She does not need to be showing her belly. But let me show y'all really quick, y'all. We are here. We also walk right past um the Apollo. So if you come back, the way he said he coming back for this, you are, you trying to get your oh go ahead get the beads for your neck. Yeah. Go right ahead. I'll support you. Let me let me buy you your first um neck beads. I got you. But we're about to pass the Apollo. If you have never been to New York, or if you've never been to Harlem, here's your tour, okay? They say Harlem is the blackest of the blackest places when you come to New York. You see, I like, I be liking the stuff that they have in the Gap, but the Gap be like $20. I'm done. The, West Street, we get on the Ooh, the Apollo doing amateur night. As a kid growing up, on, um, I used to watch amateur night on TV, and I used to watch um, Sandman come out, and they used to get booed and whomped and everything else. And now they, they bring it back, and it says they're celebrating. Hmm. The Apollo celebrating 90 years or what? I don't know. The, the damn sign changes too fast. I can't keep up. But yeah, let's let's. Do a little tour of two fifth. If you're from New York, that's what you call it. Yeah, we on two fifth right now. We don't say. We don't say. We don't say a hun. We say two fifth. You ain't no hun nothing. You just take out the whole one. Say two fifth. You come and get your oils. Oh my God, he's still selling DVDs. Now that's a throwback. Yes, he's still burning, burning and, and selling DVDs. My mother would be in heaven. Let me get 10 of those DVDs. <laughs> Cause she still got a DVD player. Let me know down in the comments below. Do y'all got DVD players? So you guys, it's been a long, long time since I've been to 125th Street and like just out and walking. And they have a Raisin Cane's here. I'm not even sure exactly why. Well, I see they got chicken fingers or something. But I've never heard of it. I've never been there. But it's been like this craze 
thing going on where everybody's talking about it where everybody's like have you been did you try this did you try that so i think i'm definitely gonna stop there and i'm gonna um test it out just to see what it's about and to see what all the hype is about but right now we're walking and we're going to um our next store which is old navy to see if we can find Ideally, I'm just trying to find something for the baby, but if I see stuff for Myla, obviously I'm gonna get it too. Get your oils. Which one are you trying to get? Your African butter. Walking down the street. I got a oil, What is this? A blink? Oh, he's selling Nike sweater. So much as zoomed in. <laughs> I was trying to zoom out. My camera was too zoomed in. But I didn't um I was struggling a little bit. You heard that guy? He was like, um, young lady, since you're alive, like no, ooh, look at that dress in the window. I likes, I likes. Alright. So let's head inside of Old Navy. See what they got. Huh? I like this top. And this is a skirt to go with it. This is super nice. Harlem, 125th Street in particular, is kind of like third in the Bronx. You got everybody with a table set up outside selling something. Selling something. They got a day's hot chicken. I don't even know what this place is. See it? Boom. Haircuts one day. If not, we check out Dave's Hot Chicken. Alright. So, right now we're walking. We're trying to get to Raisin Canes. But we're having a little bit of a um, difficulty finding it. What store is this? Aldo? Aldo always got good stuff. Let me see. I love these shoes. You know, I'm a, I like these for some reason. The matching bag. You need to take me on a fancy ass date so I can get dressed up. These little bags are super cute too. Ooh, I love them. Pressure me. I pressure you. Take you. I take you on a date. I feel like you're pressuring me. One thing about um, I would say, one thing, and y'all know me. I'm from the Bronx, baby. I ain't from Harlem. Okay, I'm from the Bronx. But one thing about Harlem people, I feel like you could spot them out easily because they very flashy and cocky but well, we should have checked in this store we got a lot of baby shit nah i'm good i already got what i needed to get they um parliaments or whatever they call themselves they flashy and cocky for no reason and here on two fifth on every corner here and um two fifth on damn near every corner you got somebody trying to braid your head african hair braiding african hair braiding like if you want to get your hair braided just come to 125th street and you will find 150 people braiding hair for 125 dollars <laughs> look they got the shirts yeah this is 125th for you. We walked in, the atmosphere was a vibe. Well, it was more like lit, okay? They were playing like upbeat dance music, but we were very disappointed with the menu. Maybe we didn't catch on to the fact that like, their advertisement was of chicken fingers because legit all they had was chicken fingers and like different type of beverages. 
The atmosphere was very, very nice. I love the decor. Like, it was just a really, really cute establishment, but I felt like the menu was really, really lacking. I guess if you kind of just stick into one thing, then you can't go wrong. But yeah, so I ordered just regular chicken fingers and fries, and Dwayne ordered the chicken finger sandwich, was basic, which basically was like the same thing I had, but they just put a piece of bread on <laughs> They put a piece of bread on his to you know, make it seem like it was something different, but it really wasn't. Um, as I am tasting and trying the food, I felt like it was lacking flavor. Like the chicken fingers, and they don't sell like fried chicken. They don't sell like chicken legs or breast or thighs. They just sell like chicken tenders only. You get chicken tenders or you get a chicken tender sandwich and nothing more. So as I'm tasting the food, I'm like, okay, yes, the chicken does taste very fresh. It is hot as I bit it. I don't know if y'all noticed the steam came out, but it was really, really just lacking flavor. I was like, okay, am I missing something? Um, I tried the fries, and if you notice, I'm kind of like smacking my lips together a little bit because I'm like, like where's, where's the flavor? Like where's the flavor to everything? I tried their famous sauce, and I still just couldn't taste anything with the sauce. I don't know. Maybe my taste buds was off that day, but I felt like everything was just really lacking flavor. The chicken tenders was not something that I would rave about. I feel like I could go to the chicken spot on the corner and get better chicken tenders than this. Um, the french fries was just french fries, nothing fancy. I did try the coleslaw, and honestly, to me, and I'm not that big of a coleslaw type of person, but to me, the coleslaw was like one of the best things that I had there. Their specialty sauce, it, it, it didn't even like wow me. So I don't think, I highly doubt I would be revisiting this. Um, I tried the lemonade and to me, even the lemonade wasn't lemonading. I'm like, what is, what is going on? So I was asking Dwayne like, hey, um, is your food flavorful? Like is something wrong with my taste buds today? Like what's going on? Overall, I was disappointed with the food. And let me just tell y'all, something funny was going on with the bread. When I smelt it, the bread smelt dirty. Don't ask me how dirty smells, but it just smelt dirty. Um, I will not be returning to Raising Cane's. Let me know if you guys have been and how was your experience when you went to this establishment. What smell is it? So these ones are the first ingredient is alcohol. You can smell it. Oh, hello. How are you doing, guys? Oh, everything good. Take a lot, there's five ninety five. Everything, right? Green, green, green. Everything. Lotions, everything, five ninety five. I was not aware. Hello. 
My name is Divine, and I'm a fussy little man, right? So mommy trying to do the video, and not just a fuss, fuss, fuss. I the fussy little fella, right? All right, you good? All right, all right, you're not, you're not good. You're not good, okay. It's, uh, don't tell me that, don't tell me that. You don't tell your mama that, okay? Come on. That's for my baby, right? Hey, y'all, so, let's see. As y'all can tell, I'm back in the house, and I'm trying to um show y'all what we got while we was outside. But little man, he's not he's not cooperating right now. Oh, my hair looks so uneven. Look how long this side is and how short this side is. It's all right. As y'all can see, um, I took my braids out. I took my braids out the day before yesterday, and I really wanted to go to the hair salon and get my hair straightened because y'all know like postpartum shedding is real and like getting bull spots and stuff. So I just wanted to get my hair professionally done to like make sure your girl's hair was still there. But um, I ended up just taking my braids out, washing my hair, like really getting into my scalp because I had my braids for over a month and I started to get dandruff from not oiling my scalp. And then I legit got out the shower. I used this new product. Um, I put it in my hair and I let my hair air dry and that that's it. This hair is two days old So that's why it's kind of like extra puffy if y'all are natural out there and you have curly hair You know like once you do your wash and go as time goes on your hair gets bigger and bigger and bigger So yeah, this is how we look in two days old, but anywho, I came back and mr. Man Can you can he will he show? He not he not hello. Do you want to show it on your beautiful eyes? Do you want to show them? Yeah, do you want to show... Oh, okay, wait a minute. You want to spit the bow out? You want to say something? Okay, let's see. Let's see if Mr. Man going to say something. Say hello, Cherry Blossom. Yeah, it's a me. It's a me, Mr. Man here. And look at this baby, y'all. Three weeks. And we look at big like... And we look at big like this. But um, I want to show y'all really quickly what we got when we was outside on 125th street or 25th okay as you say in new york i didn't get much of anything but it really really felt good to just be outside um i don't care what anyone says i don't care if you have one kid you have 10 kids i don't care if your child is one month or 10 years old like as parents we need breaks we need time to ourselves. We need to have adult conversations and do adult things and so on for it. So it felt good, especially because I had a C-section and I've been mainly in the house recovering. It felt good to get out and about and so on for it. So me and Dwayne, we decided that um, we're definitely going to do once a month. We're going to ask, and my mom can commit to once a month. We'll ask her to come over, watch the kids, and... He and I will go out and just have some like adult time together, whether it's just grabbing a bite to eat or doing some shopping, which basically we did shopping for the kids, y'all. But it just felt good just to get out and about. Um, hi, Joe. And y'all know the more kids you have, the, the harder it is. <laughs> the harder it is to get somebody to watch your kids. So, um, yeah, but my mom, she's going to be able to help us out like once a month to come over, sit in the house. Um, with the kids. It was nice outside. Maybe she'll take them out for a walk or something like that while we just get out for a couple of hours. We were out for about maybe like five and a half hours. So it wasn't like something crazy, but it was enough time for me to feel like, okay, I feel good. So let me just show y'all. You gonna be cool? Or you gonna be cool? Let me see if I put you down on my leg. If you doing be good for a camera. Okay, let's see. Let's see how far along in this video we could get the mr. man said I'm chilling right now wait a minute all right so the whole point of me going out to the stores today was well Dwayne and I had the free time because my mom watched the kids but we didn't have no place intentionally intentionally to go so I was like let's just try to find something for baby boy and I wanted to go to Old Navy anyway so as I saw that's where we end up going um my old navy bag is not even on the top. So I'm gonna show y'all. We went to Marshalls. I did not record us going to Marshalls, but I found this really, really uh, can I back up some? <laughs> y'all, I'm mad close to the camera. And my chair's not backing up more. So this is this is what y'all gonna get. I found this really cute outfit. 
for Myla and Marshalls. And it's just like a cute shirt. Yeah, nobody put that in your face. It's okay. It's okay. And it's really cute. He don't like he don't like that. He like you blocking my light, Ma. You blocking my light. But yeah, it's a two-piece. Um, I've been getting little knickknacks here and there for her for the summertime. Um, as well as for the baby. I haven't really been doing too much summer shopping for them yet, but I definitely want to start. So probably in like I'll say like in a week or two, I'll start shopping for them and like really bulk up on everything they need for summer. Um, Myla needs everything. She's outgrown her shoes, her shirts, her pants. Baby boy needs everything as well because he's he's new here. Like this is his first summer, so he um he doesn't have a lot of summer clothes. But yeah, I end up getting this for Myla. That's super cute. I found this for baby boy, and it comes with. Shorts as well. I love the, the pattern and the print on this. And my mother's like, wow, that looks super big. But this is legit three to six months. They didn't have zero to three months, so I got this three to six months one. And if anything, he probably wear this like in July or August if he can't fit it. And I don't know if y'all can see the price, but it was $9.99. And Myla's outfit was, I think, $12.99. Hers was $9.99 as well. Oh, no. His was $8.99 and hers was $9.99. And we picked up those two pieces from Marshalls. Now, this is what we got from Old Navy. And I'm really happy about what we got because this was the whole point of me going out shopping. So, we found this cute, cute jean jacket for baby boy. And I don't know the exact price of this, but I know if you are an Old Navy Cards member, they having some type of sale. You get like 50% off your total or something like that. My total was 60 something dollars. And then she was like, do you have an old Navy card? I was like, yeah. She scanned the coupon and my total dropped down to like $35. So if you are a cards member, but that's how old Navy gets you. That's how they be getting you. They always have these damn sales and you end up going there spending more than you plan on spending. But yeah, check them out if you are a cards member because they are having some type of sale. So baby boy got this jean jacket and then we also got him he got this cute hoodie that says Old Navy on it that he can put underneath his jean jacket and it looks like this. So with the jean jacket and a hoodie on, he should be good. And then we'll put a blanket on top of him as well. And if it gets windy, he can still have his plastic. But that snowsuit is just too it's just too hot. My baby be sweating with his snowsuit on. Yeah, 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 I see it coming. Look at that face. Look at that face. Okay, 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 okay. Your mama, your mama is here for you. You don't need a fuss fuss. You don't need to do that. Because mama right here for you, okay? Okay. You good? Okay, yeah, you look out the window a little bit. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. So, let me speed it up. With that jacket, we also got the matching little sweatpants to match. So he has a lot of bottoms. I'll just keep the sweater and the jacket on him, and then he can rotate his bottoms when we're going outside. If it is a little chilly, I could put like a one-piece pajama like this on him, then put the pants on, then the sweater and the jacket, and so on for it. So, yeah, that's what we got Oh, from Old Navy. And that was what we got from Old Navy. I didn't get anything for Myla from there. Then we went to Carter's as y'all saw and they didn't have anything. They didn't have anything for him. I mean for, yeah, they didn't have anything for baby boy that we was interested in getting. So I ended up picking up these shorts for Myla. They just look like this. And it's kind of difficult buying stuff. They have um like little palm trees on it. It's kind of difficult buying stuff for Myla because Myla is tall and she is skinny and she got long legs. So you got to buy her like slim, tall <laughs> type of stuff. Like it's weird. Like her, her, because she's long, I have to buy her size up. But because her waist is so small, it's like she has to have pants. She have to have pants that have an elastic on it. Okay. You okay to sit back like this? Hey, Joe, my man. 
Say hi, mama. Hi, mama. All right, y'all. So, I got this dress for her. It looks like this. This dress is beautiful. I'm like, ooh, I didn't have it in my size. So, she got this as well. And that was from Carter's. And then, oh, I did pick up. Okay, okay. I did pick up a pair of socks. All right, all right. You are okay. You look a little tired. Say, Mommy, I'm waiting for you to finish that video. So, you give me some loving. Your mama always. That mommy always got said loving for you, Mr. Man. Come on. Let's lay down with mama. Okay? Okay. This is my baby go. Right? You go sleepy? Yeah, you need to take a little nappy poo. You need to take a little nappy poo. He was sleeping, y'all, and in my arms, and I put him in a bassinet. And I went to use the bathroom. And literally, as soon as I pulled my pants down, this is that newborn life for you. He started, wah, wah. I said, Myla, go get him. Myla, put the bobo. Well, she can't pick him up. But I'm like, put the bobo, put the pacifier in his mouth. Um, push his bassinet back and forth. Keep him calm so I could use the bathroom. But um, yeah, he was sleeping, and so I put him down. So now he's just a up and a fussing. All right, let's get through this. So I also bought him this pack of socks. And this is zero to six months. And these seem like lightweight and way more stretchy than the socks he have now. The socks he have now, when I put them on and I take them off, he has like the marking from the socks on his foot. And I don't like that. So I just bought him a new pack of socks. And then that's all that I got for the kids. I did stop in Bath and Body Works. They are having a sale or... Um, beauty is it beauty i think it's all beauty items or all something i forgot how they worded it but basically almost everything in the store is five dollars and 95 cents okay so <clears throat> their stuff is okay i'm not a huge giant fan of their stuff so even when they have these mega crazy sales i don't go all out one thing i don't like about bath and with the bath and body works fragrances is that to me they don't last all day Number one, and number two, the main ingredient in their fragrances is alcohol. So sometimes after you spray yourself, you get that alcoholy smell. And I don't, that's that ish I don't like. So I don't be going ham with their stuff. But I did pick up this. It was only $5.95. And this is one of my favorites. This is a go to of mine. And when I'm not wearing some of my other favorites, I just put this on. Sometimes I put this on in the house. You know, it's just a very light refreshing smell and yeah it's one of the few smells to me that doesn't have like an alcoholy smell to it so if we could focus there we go boom this is it and then i also i've never tried this or used this but since it was only 5.95 everything on sale i got this vanilla lip gloss let's see if you could focus and it just looks like this i'm gonna try this out let me actually, if I could open it. All right, so I'm going to try it out. I do have, hold on. You get a tissue. But I do have, um, like, some lip gloss on. This some clear gloss. So let me take that off. Let me try this on. It smells like vanilla. Let's see if we can focus. Focus. This is how, ooh, ooh, it's kind of loose. It just slid out. This is how it looks. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Mm, I probably do. I like the smell. I'm a vanilla scented type of girl. I like fragrances that have hints of vanilla in it. Shea butter. Like, stuff like that. That's up my alley. All right, it feels good on my lips. It's not sticky. <laughs> it, looks, it looks pretty good. All right, y'all. So, yeah, that's all that we got today while we was out and about. And I'm going to end the video right here. Dwayne is in the room taking a nap. Myla's in her room. Um, What is she in her room doing? Oh, y'all know, I think I told y'all before, Myla wants to be a rapper. So she's in her room writing some rhymes and she's watching um, YouTube videos of little girls um, rapping and things like that. 
and I'm going to try to put baby boy to sleep and then find me something to watch on TV and just relax for the rest of the night. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. All right, Cherry Blossoms. Bye. Good morning, Cherry Blossoms. So I'm, I'm kind of in the time crunch right now. Don't have that much time to chat, but it is 8 a.m. It's almost 9 a.m. And we are headed out to baby girls basketball what is this she doing a trial run for a basketball team type of thing i mentioned to y'all before and don't mind my hair the as the days go on the hair gets crazier and crazier i try to put a hat on but the hair is too big the hat's not fitting it doesn't look good but um today baby girl is doing what you doing basketball so yes we're going to this basketball um I don't know how to describe it, like a basketball team type of thing, a youth basketball something. Anyways, I mentioned to y'all before that Myla enjoys basketball and she said that she wants to be a basketball player. And for career day this year, she went to school dressed up as a basketball player. So because she kept, you know, saying that she was interested in it. And every time I asked, her, I'm like, you need to find something to do. What do you want to do? And she's like, basketball. I went online and I found this cool school. Well, it appeared to be cool once I spoke to the lady and everything. And she was like, before you sign up for the classes, you could come in and do like a trial run and see if your daughter enjoys it. And then we'll go from there. So yes, baby girl's going to be there. I'm not sure what they're going to do. This is called, this class is called Hoops 101. So they said they're just teaching the kids the like foundation or, you know, the basics of basketball maybe they'll teach them how to dribble how to hold the ball i don't know this is an all girls team and it's from ages uh i think six to eight or five to eight it's, it's one of those but anyways it's, it's how you know you ain't even see it they could have hold you on the phone mm. now she now she eavesdropping you know how these kids do but yeah so we're headed there right now y'all gonna come along with us as we go see baby girl do Doing her thing on the court. <laughs> How you feeling? I feel super duper excited. Excited? Why are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited because I'm going to play basketball for the first time. Mm, that's nice. And I told Myla when she go, she better close her mouth and open her ears. Because Myla be thinking she know everything. She tried to tell you something about what you know and she knows nothing about. So, we'll see how she does today and the cool thing about it is it's not super far in it um from where we are i thought i would have to travel like take a bus a train a plane to get to a decent basketball um type of school thing for her but it's it's, it's not that far so that's another plus anything else you want to say before we head out this door dad watch me too and and shout out for me and shout out for you. I'm done. I'm so done. Yeah, I was supposed to take out Myla Braids this weekend, but we didn't get to it. Y'all know this girl. She left her some she left her some edges. So these are the edges. But I was supposed to take her braids out. Put your head down. This weekend I didn't get to it. The braids still looking pretty okay. Um she does have a day off from school during the week this week. So I'm gonna use that day to just um stay home and just take out her braids but yeah we'll see y'all at the basketball what what is it called the basketball court, gym court. the basketball court. school the, the basketball ba court okay we'll see you on the basketball court
so we're just leaving basketball practice with Myla. Myla, tell us, how was basketball practice? Great. Did you like it? Yeah, do you think you want to go back? Yes. We saw you shoot. We saw you shooting the ball, getting some buckets in there. Did you like the basketball coach and the girls you were playing with? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite part about today? Practicing dribbling the ball and shooting the balls. Oh yeah, you did a great job. And what did you get when you finished? Show everybody. They gave you a cool. Uh, they gave me. A cool. Mm, you can't even find it, girl. <laughs> They gave me a cool bracelet that said basketball star. Mmm, did you a basketball star? <clears throat> so we're going to be coming back to basketball practice? Yep. Yep, and you're just going to get better and better and better. Yeah, come on, we got the light. So you guys, Myla had an amazing time at basketball today. She really enjoys herself. I enjoy seeing her, like, really be in the zone and doing what she is this oh i enjoy seeing her being in the zone and doing what she you know said that she really really wanted to do and i'm excited um for her to continue going so it looks like we got a we got a basketball player on our hands um this class they're just playing to learn the basics of the sport and then when she turns i believe seven or eight then she can actually officially join the team if she wants to all right we need some paper plates and some cups in the house so we about to run to grab that and then we're going to be back inside the house so on our way to walk to get the paper towels and i mean the paper plates and paper cups Myla decided she wanted to ride a a baby horse <laughs> i don't know but this is a park that we've never come to but it's pretty close to where we live at as well <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, y'all. As y'all could tell, I'm back home. Um, I was just here starting to fold up some of Baby Boy's clothes that I had washed last night. Right now, Baby Boy is officially sleeping. He is taking a nap. Dwayne is napping. Myla and I were sitting here watching a movie. But once I finish folding up these clothes, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go down for a nap too. Y'all know, if y'all don't know anything else about a newborn baby, y'all know, when baby go down, you go down too, okay? Because this little boy loves to party one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Like, excuse me, who are you, Mr. Man? But yeah, um, that's basically it. We ran a Target. I got a couple of knickknacks, nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, And now we're back in the house. I did pick up some burgers, fries, buns, and things like that. We're going to have um, burgers for dinner tonight. Something quick and easy and simple. And that's it. That's all. I appreciate every single one of y'all for watching my videos, for rocking with me, for tuning in, for liking the videos, leaving comments, interacting with me, sharing them, and all that good stuff, okay? So please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, hey boo hey, become an official Cherry Blossom and hit that subscribe button. And of course, turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I post a new video. Um, I'll see y'all in my next video, Blossoms. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.